morning viewers followers today is a great day with the open sky blue with the sun is rising up uh, this is uh, almost day five of our expedition across the epic adventure epic adventure across kenya and here we are this is lodwa and we have a special story of today stay tuned <laughs> My name is Noor Ismail Nozol, diesel engineer, filmmaker, storyteller. Join me as I share my passion for building trucks and traveling to the remotest part of northeastern Kenya. and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos. Today, as I've been saying earlier, that we have traveled. We traveled yesterday, remember, uh, from uh, uh, Kakuma Refugee Settlement, which was a UNHCR site, which was been established 1992 as a refugee settlement camp. And from there, we went direct to Lokijokyo, as Lokijokyo was our last destination on the north uh, western side. And we have reached Lokichokyo at the border point. As you can see in the video, there's no much to expect in that part of the world, but it is what it is. And we, we, we had the detour back to uh, the same trail, because remember, those, this is among the A1 road of Kenya. And we travel after having the detour back to the Kakuma refugee settlement, and we just have a short break for the lunch and we continue further and further uh, eastern side up to this point here which is Lodwa. We didn't stop at the Lodwa and Lodwa as you know that Lodwa is the capital of the Turkana county and it still have a little bit struggling with the infrastructure but it's promising that one day, one time it will gonna be an amazing place. And here after reaching here I thought it was approximately uh, I can say 3 or 4 30. We decided let us hit the road to the Turkana, uh, Lake Turkana. As you know, Lake Turkana is the only lake in the world because of its longest and desert lake. After reaching the, the, the shore of uh, the riverbank of Lake Turkana, there's really not much expected there. And now here's the story. Here is the story now. What happened from this to from Lodwa to Turkana? A special story. And uh, this is story time. Yesterday we traveled well. You know, sometimes you have to prepare. Those are the among we call it uh, uh, risk management, which we must have arm ourselves, not all in terms of uh, such machine, also emotionally, physically, we must be prepared. When I say prepared physically, mentally, because there's unforeseen, which you can't predict it, unpredictable. Yesterday, on our way towards to the Lake Turkana, we found even the name of this episode, it's named Road Killed. Road Killed, what happened? We went, I think, approximately, I think, 30 kilometers from Lodwa towards the Lake Turkana. We found a, a, a goat which has been knocked with a, a certain car which came before us right there. But you know sometimes it's just no, none other than bad luck. And sometimes it's so good luck, sometimes we call it good luck. And reaching there we saw, my colleague, it was JJ, saw the road kill in the middle of the road, smelly road. We, we, we tried to escape, uh, to twist our tire on the it was western side. And we, we just escaped that uh, road kill and passed. Surprisingly, reaching the offshore of the Lake Turkana, 
as we are contemplating, trying to have a beautiful scenery, our sunset on the Lake Turkana, and certain guy came. However much we've been asking some questions, we thought maybe it's someone who knows is familiar to the region or the lake, so he can show us exactly the camps, uh, a magic spot where we can camp for night. But surprisingly, the guy, the guy was not really interested on our, uh, on our request. It shows me I've sensed that there must be a problem. And suddenly, after some couple of minutes, the guy said, guy, you've knocked. Uh, there's a road kill there found in the middle of the road. You, they have just called me that, the guy who said, they just called me that you guys with your big machine, you've knocked the, the, that road kill. You're the one who have knocked that goat. We said, no, we could not do that. If it was to do that, we could just stop and they just compensate and pay it off. But they said, no, the guy just insisted, we did it, we did it. And after that, I see there's a, a little of a friction and the tension has been raising up. The local guys are coming closer to our car. And uh, we thought the GoPro, which we fixed it, on front of our car, could capture it. I think there was an, some an error where uh, we thought that the GoPro has been, because I was so much uh, confident that the GoPro captured that scene before us to reach, to show them as a proof that we are not the one who have this, uh, uh, caused that accident or killed the, 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 the knocked the, the, the god. But initially we thought it's gonna be a minor thing, but eventually it just now turning to become a, a serious thing. But as you know as well, Moving around the electric car, we saw there's no presence of a policeman or army or even police post. And we thought this is going to be a threat on our side. The easy way is to cool down. As you know, this is how you have to be very, very dynamic, very flexible in terms of anything or cars your way. Because we talked about maybe an obstacle will stand on our way. And indeed, that was an obstacle standing on our way to electric car. And finally, we came back as professional people. People understand those kind of... Uh, uh, way of traveling, this is our, our land adventure, it's a risky thing. But if you find you are very flexible, not too much argue because those are most of the indigenous people or community or they're illiterate. So they have no idea of what find out the truth. But we ignore that although we are not the one who knocked it, the easy way or to simplify the matter in a more calm way is just to pay. Maybe also God escape for us a big uh, uh, obstacle more than even that one. So we say, okay, that's great. We're gonna pay. We paid approximately the first charges around the after six because now we wanted to travel all night. No car started argument, pulling rope at night. And remember those guys? They, those guys have guns, so we cannot argue with someone has a gun. We say, okay, what are we gonna do? Just tell us the amount of money we have. We are ready to pay for the goats, and then we just end up the matter. And finally, uh, eventually, the guy came and said, no, we, the owner of, because there was such communication between uh, us and the owner of the car, which was around, around the 50 kilometers away from the Lake Turkana. And that conversation said, okay, I've, I've, I've insisted to, to know, I, mean, I was really interested to know the, the value and the cost of that goat. Just a little goat like this. A uh, eh? kid. A kid, yeah. Just a little like this. And then they say, okay, 4,000. I say, no, okay, let me give you just 3,000. I say, no, not 500 Kenya shillings. Uh, we remain with an option and to clear that and uh, to clear our path back to Lodo. That's a story of what transpired yesterday. And this is going to be a learning curve for all of us, even you viewers, traveling in Africa, traveling, having such fantastic uh, epic adventure. It is a risk, but don't be so overreacting sometimes. Don't think everything you have to do it to be blamed for. Sometimes you can blame on the thing which is not yours. And to make your travel easy, smoothly, you have to be really very, very dynamic, very flexible to cooperate and take it easy and sort it out as that level. Because the more you're going to pull rope, the more they may even come with a lot of great, they, they, they strike and even burn your car. For just because of the goals of 3,500 uh, Kenya shillings, or even in um, other countries as well. So it shows it's a learning curve for us, but we prepared ourselves, as I say earlier, we prepare for such kind of eventuality. And the cars, we thought about it, say, they, wherever the obstacle will stand our way, we have to be flexible how to deal with it. Peacefully, we came back to Lodua, and this is the Lodua Islamic Center. We had a, an amazing uh, night here, and this is the mosque. We prayed, and uh, this is the mosque Al Nur Al Well. Al Nur 
which is my name as well, Nur Nozul is my name, which is there. So, fantastic, we have a peaceful night and uh, right now we are, as you say, look at the map. Now we're going to twist, uh, turn, have a detour because remember, uh, Lake Turkana, there's no path there to the Chalbi area. What you're going to do is to turn from Lodwa. We're going to have a little bit of exploration of this town, as I say, Lodwa is situated on the northwestern of Kenya. And there's a capital, uh, the largest county uh, capital in uh, northern Kenya. And is uh, the, uh, the terms of surface of Turkana is about 13% of the surface of the whole country, which is Kenya. And today we're going to hit back to uh, Kitale. After Kitale, we're going to twist it. We're going to turn maybe left and hit the, the, the north, uh, northeastern uh, part of Kenya and to going to enter a different region, which is going to be a Samburu region. I uh, also going to invite Mr. Sansas to tell us about a little the summary of the what uh, so far the journey has reached over up to here. Just to highlight this place, uh, this coast, well, this place is very, very hot, it's dry, it's sunny, really, really dry this place here. And uh, according to the locals, they have not had rainfall for a year. Almost here now, no rain. But surprisingly, a good part of it, water is flowing from the taps. Yeah. It's an amazing place to be. Yeah, I think this also become as a capital. They must do a lot of huge investments here to make yeah. sure they have water. That's what I was really impressed with. It. You know, we don't have rain for the whole year. Twelve months, no single rain drop. But water, people are having water. All the taps are flowing with water. That is very, very good. Thing. We've enjoyed it when we have filled up our tanks, um, some water to make sure we have um, ourselves. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. We're having a good time. Yeah. We thank God for that. No more complaints. Employees. Yeah, only that, uh, particularly me, I had some a little bit of, you know, the change of weather. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of thing. Climate change. Or we'll change of um, life. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, so far, that's it. And then, as you know, uh, as the Asasa said, the, the scarcity of the water is really visible. You can still look at it here. But in terms of uh, as a capital, I think they have hugely invested to make sure uh, to satisfy the communities and people living around this capital of uh, Turkana County. And right now we are gonna not wasting time. We have to eat before the sun is too much. We have to raise up and try to tour the town a little, little bit to go and to climb that mountain uh, where there is a statue of Jesus on top yeah, of the, the, the maybe the some story story called yeah, yeah, talk it about is, it. It is normally you know it's like a real de Janeiro. Yeah, de Janeiro, yeah. Jesus. Remind me about that. Uh, so far so good, Caju de Colomb, you have anything to talk about? Uh, there is experience what we have been we are we are in right now, but so far this is a learning curve. This is what we anticipate. We will confront it and we made it. You think there was another alternative you could do more than that? No. Because if you find a road kill, road kill, are you going to stop? Stopping is, stopping is going to solve the problem. problem. Going did not solve and stop Everything could not solve. Just, Something just Whatever you do, you're messed up. <laughs> it is what it is. Accept to take the blame in yeah. order to do the And let God pay back. <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, I think it was, a, it was a good experience. Yeah. And generally, this is how it is in the. It is. In this kind of adventure. And the more we are yet to ex ex anticipate. Yeah. Because we are, we are heading Prepare to yourself the, for that. The places of uh, <laughs> notorious. <laughs> People, you know, they are notorious. But they, 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 they are good, they are good. Don't, don't, there's confusion is natural. Even in the city, there's confusion can be there. Even in the city, it's possible. There's confusion but, thing. Eh? But generally, no, an animal means a lot yeah. to them. Yeah. Because that's their major source of income. Yeah. For and centuries. That's why, and that's why they have problems with anybody. They have problems with their neighbors. They have problems with the government. Anybody part of their past. So that's a source of income. Yeah. That's where their entire life it's best rely on, rely on that yeah. So um, it's general. Either you go to yeah. Ethiopia, you go to Karamoja. It's general. You go to to Dinka, Sudan, everywhere. 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 We have but just know how yeah. to deal with it. But because you know we, we are very good at, at peace resolution. Yeah. We are trained. Peacemaker, in, we train. Yeah. Peace resolution. Yeah. Adventure. Yeah. Environment. Yeah. You know, Environmentalist. Kind of yeah. We never did anything. No. But sometimes you pay but the price of what. This is the price we have to pay. Carrying the cross. Which is not yours. Which, that, and that's the reason we are still very peaceful and very yeah, happy. Yeah, and yeah, to talk yeah, to you now. yeah. 
But some of you guys, you know, me, me, I will not me, me for me. I didn't. It don't cannot solve problems. You let it go. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, guys. Let me tell it hit the road and uh, keep you posted. You want it? If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and remember to hit that notification bell to make sure that you catch up our weekly series of videos.